Welcome to Chef Alley's Farm Fresh Kitchen. Join us as we meet from the land of Kansas members and explore new recipes using local Kansas ingredients and products. Good morning. Welcome back to 13 News this morning. No, it's not Thursday morning. Thursday is Christmas. It is Christmas Eve. Chef Alley with us. A lot of people uh -huh. are going to be out there with Stacy Mandel from the land of Kansas. Going to be out there today racking their minds for those last minute Christmas gifts. It's going to be all men, you know that. It is. Not <laughs> me this year. Thankfully, very much so. But one of the great things, like if you're going to a party or if you're going to, you know, out of state to family, whatnot, it is fun to bring something to them that is local. And this is kind of what we're talking about today, right, Stacy? Yeah, absolutely. We love to talk about giving the gift of Kansas mm -hmm. at the holiday mm -hmm. season. And so that can be some great package products or it can be a meat, cheese uh, or charcuterie plate. Um, that you can put together whether you're hosting or taking it over to someone's house. Um, we have a lot of great retailers in the area. There's um, Fulmer's Meats out in Bellevue off of Highway 24 or um, Hank Charcuterie in Lawrence, um, Pendleton's Country Market in Lawrence, Lawrence. as well. Mm -hmm. We also have some East Side and West Side Markets in Manhattan all have great products in their stores as well as Hildebrand Farms Dairy has a great store on their dairy. So um, all the products we have are all from Kansas companies and we kind of like to, it was a little bit of a challenge for Allie and I to see what we could put together. We have lamb summer sausage, beef summer sausage, buffalo, some cured beef. Um, bread is from a, a bakery at Radina's Bakery in Manhattan. Yeah. You want to talk about the pate? Nothing the, says Kansas like buffalo. Yeah, well. absolutely. But, but maybe not as much as it says pate. I don't yeah. know if you, you think you associate that with Kansas, right, Allie? You, you do well, now. Well, you do now. Yeah. Yeah, and this, like Stacy said, came from Lawrence Hank mm -hmm. Charcuterie. Wonderful place to visit if you're out and about. And every other week they do a butchering lesson. So if you're looking for a field trip for the kids, um, maybe while even while they're on Christmas break, mm -hmm. very fun place to go to see them lay that out. I mean, it's just, it's really cool. But charcuterie is actually a French word that means cold cured meats. So it's really fun to put this together with the Kansas products. And you have to kind of think of who are your guests gonna be? Because mm -hmm. you can make this as upscale mm -hmm. or as casual as you wish, um, chutneys, nuts, all different kinds of things. And then you can just have fun. I mean, we just took a wooden cutting board, but if you have a nice big piece of marble mm -hmm. that you wanna show off, um, but you have to think of your guests. What's gonna make them most comfortable? And that's why we leave a little bit of work for them to do, like this right here, this is a cheese button. And so leave a block of cheese where people can actually cut it because you know sometimes at, at gatherings people get nervous and if you give them something to do with their hands, whether that's buttering a piece of bread mm -hmm. or cutting a piece of cheese, it just makes them feel like you thought enough of them to, to give them, to pull them into what you're doing. And they don't have to have their cell phone out and you know, you exactly. know nervously looking at that. Yeah, and it's so, less prep for the host. Yeah, so, right. yeah win, exactly. Win, 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 all yeah. across the board. And we also have a nice um, sparkling cider here and all of these recipes we're going to have three. We're going to tell you how to put together a charcuterie tray mm -hmm. on the From the Land of Kansas blog. Plus there will be some nice recipes. Stacy mm -hmm. even made this. Um, is that pate? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's actually, it's Fresh made old with Kansas pate. Holmes made yeah. salsa. Um, they have a raspberry jalapeno mm -hmm. spread as well as Hildebrand cream cheese and reduced down and then kind of pre-chilled. It's delicious, has a little bit of kick in it with the jalapeno mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um, kind of makes a fun Thank conversation you. piece. Very right nice. Yes. Lots of nice products gift. that we offer. Some you expect like buffalo and, and beef and cheese products. Some you might not expect like pate. Hey, it's great for gift giving if you got that place to go over the holidays. So, yeah, uh, and never hesitate as you're out and about in Kansas, mm -hmm. as you see these meat and cheese products, Grab them as you see them and put them in your freezer because they will freeze perfectly. Mm -hmm. You can get them out, give them as gifts, slice them up, however, but that's, yeah, Very they nice. will hold. Anything cooking on your Facebook page? Absolutely. Okay. Go there and check it out. It's always worthwhile to do that. Can't say why specifically, but you guys know. There you go. All right, Stacy, <laughs> Chef Allie, thanks so much. Thanks, guys. All right, we'll be right back. Make sure to tune in the second and fourth Thursday of every month to meet more From the Land of Kansas members. Remember, visit FromTheLandOfKansas.com to explore and find Kansas foods, products, and services.